All right, welcome back, everyone. So, as I was saying last episode, uh, Spencer, were you not aware of soap-branded shoes? Um, I mean, I remember... Okay, so this is a story from my childhood. There's, there's going to be a lot of story time in this, um... Let's play. Spencer is a very uh, because, talkative person. Yeah, I kind of... I, I do talk a lot. Also, I mean... B before story time, this is a good level. This is another this is a great good level. Sonic yeah, level. Yeah, it's one of the best Sonic levels in the game. But then again, yeah. every Sonic level is the best level in the game. There really is, except for maybe the like the very last Sonic level in, in like the hidden ending. The oh yeah, oh yeah. The last story is kind of annoying as shit. Yep. But no, sorry, story time. Okay, so uh, there is a game for the uh, it was for the GameCube and the PS2. It was uh, Scooby Doo's Night of a Hundred Frights. Mm -hmm. Um. It's honestly, it's a competent platformer, and if you're a fan of Scooby Doo and like that kind oh, of stuff, I didn't it's make it. actually pretty decent. Also, congratulations, you. Uh, thank you, thank you, Senpei. You're welcome, Kohei. Anyways, uh, so I had it for the GameCube, but also my friend owned it for the original Xbox. Mm -hmm. Now, sidebar, I'm not a fan of the Xbox. I never have been. I especially am not a fan of the. Uh, Xbox One X. Let's not get into that. We're not going to get into naming conventions, but let's just say I'm not a huge fan of it. Anyways, um, so basically what happened was I played this game for the, uh, and I will always remember this scene. There's a scene after you defeat the Black Knight, I think it is, um, where you get a power up, which is just galoshes. It's a uh, welling. It's wait, boots, rubber boots. Um, and basically, one of the scientist characters just pops up and goes, Yeah, uh, these boots are banana flavored. And I'm like, Banana flavored boots? <laughs> Wait, I wonder what? what that. Yes. He straight up says that the boots are banana flavored. And I'm like, I need to get me some banana flavored boots. Flavored boots. And basically, they just they helped you uh, run on like tar and stuff like that. Oh. But I will never forget the moment where a man says to me, these boots, these rubber boots are banana flavor. So there, yeah, yeah, there we go. Well, that's, uh, that was an interesting story. Mm, it, uh, I had a faker! Childhood. I think you're the it's fake me. hedgehog around here. You're comparing oh, yourself to me. Huh. Whoa, whoa, hash. Also, th whoa, also whoa, this hash. scene, that scene just shows everything wrong with the audio engineering in this game because the sound mixing is just fucking terrible i mean it's not the worst sound mixing i've heard but it's definitely it's up there. pretty bad like i mean also the character okay, battles so the in this game mixing, are fucking pathetic because i beat shadow in 16 seconds i mean to be perfectly honest they're not as bad as um the knuckles fights in sonic adventure one okay yeah nothing will be bad as bad as that oh no where you literally oh, no. beat him in like 10 oh, seconds no. and he just says, oh no, oh no, over and over again. Oh no. Whoa, Shadow, you need a breather there, buddy? You look, you look Whoa, a little Shadow, winded. Calm down. Shadow, what, are you doing? what was the girl's name from Shadow? I, I think she's also in here. Maria? Maria, Maria. yeah. Maria. I, I can't remember. I can't. You know, the girl who got shot that. in the face at the beginning of Shadow the Hedgehog? Yep, that girl. Like, she got super murked. Never would I ever thought that, you know, there would be someone blatantly shot in the face in a Sonic game. And then Sonic 06 came around, and there's bestiality in that game, and I'm like, well, nothing is sacred anymore. I mean, like, super blatant bestiality. Like, super, su like, they heavily imply that there is some sort of romantic relationship happening between this human princess and this cartoon-ass hedgehog. And I mean... Shane's not wrong when he says cartoon ass hedgehog. Like, look at that. Like, you I think, think that's, that's what actual hedgehogs look like. No, but I think that's one of the best examples I can think of in video games of visual styles clashing horribly. I will always remember um, thinking, and I think it's been said in a lot of other Sonic 06 Let's Plays, maybe yours as well, actually. Probably. That the opening to that game looks like Final Fantasy. Yeah. 
Th yeah, no, that's exactly what I said in the first episode, because Bones was playing it with me, because she had never played it, and so I was basically torturing her. And I was like, if I was you say, I'm assuming she doesn't want to play it. Oh no! Every time I every time I ask her, like, hey, you want to play more Sonic 06? She gives me like the death stare and then doesn't talk to me for like an hour. Yeah, yeah, I I would do the same. However, I would also love to witness it firsthand. Yeah, it's terrible. But um, yeah, that's what I did in the first episode uh, during that intro. I was like, if you had no previous knowledge that this was a Sonic game, what would you think this was? And she said right off the bat, Final Fantasy. And I'm like, that's the correct answer. That's the correct answer. Also, let's not forget because I'll be shitting on this game enough. So I, I think it's I think it's good to eventually oh no, you know oh no, sometimes. Oh no! 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 Oh it's it's weird because like I said, yeah, they give you these like over in inflated times for like time, basically time trials. Basically, yeah. But in order to get an S rank, it's like no no no, you got you need to do this perfectly. Yeah. It's like I I love um, generations. Oh yeah, generations is without generations. a doubt the best three D Sonic. I would say that yeah, it's not it's tied for. It's tied with Sonic 1, my favorite Sonic game. I have... And I know, that's weird. I know, so that's a lot weird of because. Say, you know, Sonic 2 or Sonic 3. But yeah, yeah, Sonic, Sonic 1, 1 is really jank, so. It is. But I also, I have a soft spot for jank, and you know that. Yeah, I know. You like weird I mean, you like my first weirdly game was off Resident things. Evil. I do. I mean, my first game I ever played as a kid was Resident Evil 1. I don't even I... remember the first game I ever played. I love Deadly Premonition. Oh lord, and that Deadly is, Premonition. Off. Oh. And that is one of the most jank games you ever play, but it holds a very big soft spot in my heart for just being a blatant oh, boy. rip off. Of oh boy, oh the games. island's blowing up. Oh. There we go. Oh lord, there it goes. But guess what? We're okay because we explicably got on the tornado. You know how we got on the tornado? Oh boy. Oh, it's Magic. your fa it's your favorite level, boy. I think I think it's time. Oh, it's, time. it's time! Here, I'm pumping. It's time. I'm pumping the music for you. Let me see if I can hear it. Sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the master emerald. I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and then and then the power up interrupts the music. Okay. It's like. How dare you interrupt the spicy, spicy jam? The spicy of jam, Hill. like it's the spiciest jam. Where's this? Oh god, get away from me, ghost! I'm gonna turn it down you, now, though, because it kind of gets dude, in the way. Don't let it get to me. I just want to creep down a pumpkin hill without a final last piece. You know it's always here. I can sense it in my feet. The great emerald power allows me to feel. I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. I gotta hold my head because I have no fear. It probably seemed crazy, crazy, a graveyard theory. A ghost tried to approach me, he got weary. Asked him a question and he vanished in a second. I'm walking through Valley, flying pumpkin in the alley. Ow. True. <laughs> Didn't see me coming, but they Had sure to tried to get him up me. with the fist metal crack him. Where the fuck? Oh, there it is. It's right up here. Okay. It's right on the that tippy top. That might actually be a good place to uh, stop it. All right, on the next episode, we'll continue through Pumpkin Hill. And fucking break stuff and jam out to tasty rap jams. Tasty raps by uh, Stripe Fox? I don't remember. Uh, whoever he is, he's a Dude. fucking genius. He is. So next time. Yep. We're here in the best level in the game, Pumpkin Hill. Pumpkin... Wait, are you allowed to swear on this channel? Oh yeah, dude, go for it.
Okay, good. Pumpkin, motherfucking hill. Okay. What? Do you, what? Sure what made you? Know what made you think this is a family-friendly channel? You know me, right? Dude, I don't. I do. I don't know why, man. 